let's clarify, your Instagram is only growing right now because you're unfollowing and following? Yes. I'm, I'm All right, guys, today we're talking about how to grow your Instagram business as a fashion blogger or model or fitness guru. We're going to get started. All right, guys, I have to get the first spot for you. We're at the library, by the way, because I don't have an office. Welcome to my library office. You guys were saying how I need to get a filter, so I use my road mic filter. All right, guys, welcome to the Ask Jade show. Today, we're gonna get your shit done every single Saturday. You guys actually signed up, so I'm about to call you in, answer all your questions. If you wanna be featured on the next Ask Jade show, make sure you stay to the end so you can learn how. Okay, so the first call, I have two phones, so don't need to worry about giving out my number. I can't wait to do this. <laughs> I just wanted to say this one line. What? Hey, this is Jade. You're on the Ask Jade show. Kind of wanted to be a fashion blogger and I started a blog, but that didn't really go anywhere. So when you say it didn't go anywhere, your blog didn't go anywhere, meaning that no one really read it, or what's what's in your eyes, meaning like doesn't go anywhere? Um, I wasn't consistent with it, and I feel like not a lot of people read it. So it's more that sounds to me like you like. Do you like blogging though? Or? It was more like I couldn't find the motivation at the time to do it. So I focused more on Instagram um, as opposed to the actual website. Well, do you want this uh, blogging thing to be career-wise what you want or just for fun? Career-wise. Okay, so you really do need, if you want a career-wise, you need a website, you need a domain, you, need, you want to get brands in your circles. Being consistent. How do you stay consistent? I just kind of do. So if I know something's trending, something's like a fashion trend for your case is popping and everything's going to go away in a few weeks, you better hop on that soon. So being consistent is knowing what's up, knowing the trends right now and implementing the day of instead of waiting a week later to get your photographer in. If you don't have a photographer, use self-timer and it works just as fine. Do you think it's important to have like a theme? You know how a lot of bloggers have like the color theme going on on their Instagram? Oh yeah, I actually use this thing called, I'll, I'll, if you want I can text it to you, it's like a ugh, it's like a color matching, so it gives you like all the shades of your theme, and you plug it in, and if your photo doesn't match it, then it's not a good idea to post it. I think, I think a feed is your least of your concerns, but it definitely makes a huge difference. Think about the captions, you should make your captions paragraphs. Hello, this is Jade, I'm calling to ask Jade show. I'm sorry? This is Jade, you're on the Ask Jade show. Oh, hey, Jade. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, 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 no, I just, I'm just a model. What are you looking for? So, what's the dilemma? What's the problem? You know, how important captions are, but... Okay, okay. You know, so, uh, Louise, right? Louise, right? Yeah. Okay, Louise, captions are the only way for your consumer to take in your content. A picture does nothing for them. A picture does no shit. But what happens is, if you're a pretty person with a great influence, oh shit, you have people that love you, okay? So I'd say captions do matter. It's like more of a matter of like, are you really using it to the full potential? Because the longer people stay in reading your captions, the more they will boost your profile, so you get more followers. Do you understand that? So I would write paragraphs. Do you, are you passionate about a certain topic? Like, do you want to help young kids find their confidence? Like, what's your audience? For me, it's kind of promoting my own. It's kind of promoting like a business. It's like if somebody is like. I hear. I hear what you're saying. You want to be more of the B two B space. You want to get brands, right? Right. So the thing is. Being a business is not being corporate. Being a business is helping people and making money out of it. You still need to help people, man. Like you still need to put out some value. Like you, so I'd say maybe, maybe re-message. What I'm saying is maybe you don't have to inspire people, but become helpful. So if a brand looks at your profile, reads your captions, they're like, oh shit, he's an expert at influencer. All right, guys, revise. We're gonna answer all the questions now. I made a mistake and I did this from nine to twelve, which is three hours of people calling me in. So I rather condense it. Make sure you guys are straight to the point. And we're just gonna call everyone right now. No. By the way, guys, if you're so far enjoying this, make sure you like and subscribe. I want to see if we can get this video to 100 likes. Can you do it? Can you do it? 100 likes? And if we pass this, then I'll do another Ask Jade soon. You have reached the voicemail. Okay, next. Please leave your message. Like, basically, guys, I have to keep rushing because this this library can only sustain me for two hours or else they're going to kick me out. Your call cannot be completed. What the frick? So we're just going to call the next person. Hello? Hey, this is Jade. You're on the Ask Jade show. Oh, hi, I'm Jade. My biggest question is, if you have an Instagram following that is only growing if you're following other people and you're posting daily and it's just not growing, what's the first thing that you can do to make this happen, to make it grow faster? 
let's clarify. Your Instagram is only growing right now because you're unfollowing and following? Yes, I'm, I'm following people rapidly. I'm engaging with the community, but the minute I stopped doing that, I realized it's not growing as fast. That means people right now don't care. So you need to make people care. Who is your target audience? And I see you're vegan, right? So who is your ideal audience? My ideal audience, uh, I've noticed through ads, are females between the ages of 17 and 30 and who usually follow vegan and fashion models. Holy shit, that's so smart. Not a lot of people know their audience. That is good. Facebook or by Instagram. And you can actually target people just by putting, like, for example, you place an ad saying swipe up to, you know, to learn more about veganism. And you just target people that are exactly what you just said. Or, or if you want the free version, you DM all those people. Like, you literally DM, like, hey, I have a little free little thing I made you. Or, like, if you want to take a look, I love it if you can check it out. 97% of people won't give a shit, but 3% will. And that 3% will help you keep going. Okay, I appreciate that so much. Thank you. Hey. Hello. Hey, this is Jade from YouTube, and we're on the Ask Jade show. Sweet. Hi. And I recently started a weight loss Instagram. Back up. What's your What's your business? What's your What are you trying to sell? I haven't... <laughs> It's not really there yet, but I want to start business for that within the next decade. It would mostly be uh, like a website slash app, physically customized for weight loss, so like personal training. Got it, got it. I like it. I love it. So how is your Instagram or following so far? In, I don't know if you're familiar with like weight loss and Instagram, like fitness, but in that, there's a whole bunch of people coming and making fitness weight loss accounts just for the sole reason to be an influencer. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. I know yeah, so how would you recommend that I kind of go down that track without that actually being my purpose? Okay, let me, let me clarify. I, I know what you're talking about. So many people are trying to be a personal brand just to be a personal brand. They don't give a shit about their audience. I can tell right now you probably are passionate about health, fitness, and this topic, and you actually genuinely want to help people, correct? Yeah. Okay, the way you do that let's be very specific how about age demographic maybe gender it doesn't matter like you know like maybe ethnicity maybe like income like are they are they high income like what is your ideal client um low to middle income okay. for sure what you can do is literally make a Facebook ad. I, I will, I'll try to do a training series, but you can look it up. Like You can basically make an ad targeting those exact people. Give them some value. Maybe you actually care about them and you want to give them like a little free coaching session 101. So 97 of them will be like, screw you, no way. I'm not going to get your free training course. But 3% will. That 3% will help you because they will give you reviews. They will help you with testimonies. And those reviews, you can tr use it as an ad so you can get more people into your app or your website. All right, guys. So actually, that was all for today's Ask Jade show. Shout out to the cop winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. I think I realized if you're an international call, you want to leave me your Skype and then I can call you. I think there's a little bit of interference because I'm from the States, so it's going to be kind of hard, but I want to get you on the show. If you have a question, all you got to do, I use a system called Calendly. It looks like this. You plug in your things, you get directly synced to my calendar and your calendar, and we're automatically able to chat for the Ask Jade show. However, if you want to take your brand to the next level and you need one-on-one -on -one coaching, I provide an ultimate roadmap to success for my students who do a mentorship program. And if you need some extra guidance, like I'm all here for you, check the links below. Just check it out. Maybe you see what you need. And I hope you have an amazing, amazing day. Thank you so much. We hit 6K last, I think we hit 5, 4K, 5K last week, and now we're on 6.5K, which is like mind boggling. Thanks so much. I hope you have a great day. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. What's up guys? Thank you so much for watching. Hold up, if you could do me a huge favor, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button to turn on my post notifications. That would mean the world to me and I really appreciate it. Mwah.